guess what, Willem? This week, it's another design challenge. <laughs> Niffia doesn't know what she's going to do. Those are spit takes. Put it in and post. Oh, and did you know Safira helped Maya make that dress? <laughs> Honey, from spit takes to goth girls to fashions on the runway. And another lip sync with flips. This episode has it all. Are you ready to chase the race? I'm ready to get so goth with my hands above my head, like Jesus said, under the overpass. Sounds good, toots. An all new race chaser starts now. M. Oh. M. Mom. Race chaser. Hello. Hello. Hello, and welcome back to Race, Race Chaser Akron, a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, and dissemination of every single episode of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race. Race, starting from the very beginning. This is the beginning. My name is Goth Lasco. What's yours? Hello, I'm Gothy Wildall. <laughs> Gothy Wildall. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm picking up my tickets at Wildall. Uh -huh. You're gonna need to go over to Wildall and you need to clear a bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are back on video mm, yet again. Mm, yes. Just because we know you like it. We know you love it. And we like to give you things mm -hmm. that you like. Let's state the obvious. Stitch. He was a boy. She was a girl. Are you assuming my gender? Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> hmm. Listen, baby, I need more. I need more. We need more from you. Oh, we do. We do. <laughs> I'm still getting boy. <laughs> um, I'm getting boy, oh boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Uh, now, if you're on Mom Plus Gold, you get the full video episode. Mm -hmm. You've got to go to mompodcast.plus gold. No, that's not what. Mompodcast.plus. Yes, and You'll you get half of the half of the um, half of the video episode on YouTube. But if you want the whole thing, you never know what we'll do at the end. So. You never know. I'm gonna <laughs> tongue punch my fart box with that goth tongue <laughs> with my tongue stud. Ooh. Tell me about it, tongue stud. You're so alt. Like I almost hit Control Alt Delete. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is. People are gonna let me know if this is goth or industrial or emo. I tried to let you know. I thought it was very warehouse, very under the under the overpass Dancing party punch, the... dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands. Very that, very chasing the dragon. Gia stylist in the HBO movie 1998. Very taking a picture with a digital camera like this mm -hmm. for your MySpace. I think very it's very that. beautiful. Um, Thank you. And you look great with this, you know, spiky, fantastical. I know for you this is quick drag, but I can't see how this would take less time than doing like a full mug. It's a li I, I did the glue on my eyebrows. I see that. That then, takes forever. It takes like 10 minutes to dry. And then I brushed my teeth while I was doing it and did some push-ups. And then I literally <laughs> did purple primer and then some face lace stickers, a little line on top, curled the lashes black, put the hood on. Did the lip in the car. How do you do that? This is red why LA lights. drivers drive the way they do. That is because red, they're no. all doing lips like that. Okay, Highland and Hollywood right now is blocked off because the Oscars, so those lights are like three, four minutes red. So I did the whole lip in the car. When's the Oscars? Next weekend. Oh. And my studio's right by it, so it was difficult to get here. But you know what? We persevered. We made it through for the mom podcast dot plus people. Tell Thank us you, what plusies. happened on Drag Race last week. Well, last week, the queens read each other for the mini challenge, and they snatched the maxi challenge and danced their way down the runway. Tsunami won the reading challenge, but she fumbly should her snatch. And Plain Jane and Safira had the best snatches, but for some reason, Plain Jane won. Hmm. <laughs> Um, Tsunami was joined in the bottom by her sister Morphine Love Dion, and after an emotional yet entertaining lip sync, Tsunami went home. Call Tom from MySpace this week because it is top eight. MySpace. That's weird, I had a MySpace joke before that. I know. And then it was in there. Serendipitous. I don't like hot chocolate. <laughs> 
We get a lipstick message. I would have used black lipstick, but that's just me. Um, you know what? Not me leaving this early. LMAO, ladies, just serve mad cunt. Love you all, Tsunami Muse. Mm -hmm. Girl, she's a class act. I yeah. like her. She's pretty girl. Pretty she's girls, cool. pretty girls don't have to do too much, you know. She never she, did she never was like sideways or horrible on this show. She just had a good, clean, fun mm -hmm. run. Yeah, a mute. It was a muse. A muse. muse. I was amused. She amused me. I'm feeling amused. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling entertained. No, Morphine is really distraught that her sister had to go home. She said, oh, my sister. But Plain is also sad because that's her actual sister. They share a drag mom. She's happy about her win. How do you sip with a lip ring? Very weird. <laughs> it's very strange. You did it. I should belong to uh, girl, they never fucked. All these drag race girls, they never fucked a drag queen in their life, so they can all just fucking step off, okay? Yeah. They do it because, oh, g -g 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 girl, RuPaul, none of you have ever. RuPaul wants that storyline so bad, remember? Yes, and they want to uh, lead her to believe that it's happening. It's never happened, it's not happening, it's not gonna happen. I've said it before, RuPaul lied to my pretty blue eyes herself. <laughs> At the season five premiere, she said, well, finally, we have two girls fall in love this year. Cause she was pushing the Jinx <laughs> Ivy storyline. And she probably- Jinx had a boy, or uh, Ivy had a boyfriend at home. Girl, she's, <laughs> she's making stained glass. She ain't, she ain't checking for Jinx. She's in the bunker, honey. <laughs> uh, Baby. Mother's in the bunker. Mm -hmm. Mother bunker. Um, uh, Safira says, when they ask her about the win, she says, I feel good. I knew that I would. Still in her James Brown. I think Safira should have won. Plain sure. Jane was funny, but Safira handled adversaries and tough tosses from Rue. Like, what's that character shoot? And she handled it with aplomb. Is that the word? Aplomb? Absolutely. A P L O M B. I live for the aplomb. I live for the aplomb, aplomb, aplomb. Uh, Dawn tell, says, no shade, but Nymphia, I was gagged you were in the bottom. You know what, but- Can I you, be honest? Since you didn't go home, it's kind of iconic though now, because- Yay. You weren't in the bottom, you have nothing to be ashamed about, so make a t-shirt of it. And then Plasma's trying to get her zipper herself, and she said, uh, you might have a little something to be ashamed about, we could talk about that. <laughs> Nobody's helping her with her zipper for a reason, coming out her mouth. <laughs> it is the final eight now, and- Have you ever had a top eight? The, what does that mean, on MySpace? Sure. Top eight? Eight and one more. Honey, that top eight, honey. <laughs> that top eight. No crumbs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> well, little crumbs. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Period. <laughs> 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 um, the girls are talking about. I'm dressed like pheromone in high school, actually. Today is what I'm doing. <laughs> you look so beautiful. You really do. Uh, the girls talk about should there be an award for the cuntiest, Miss Cunt Geniality. And I think somebody says this every year, but this year Morphine got the subtitles and all when she said it. Mm, you should be Miss Cunt Geniality. <laughs> Girl. Plain Jane wins that with aplomb. <laughs> Clean sweep. The video, Clean time. <laughs> the video message comes from the bunker and mm -hmm. says, hey lady kids, are you creepy and draggy and altogether gaggy? <laughs> Well, good goth girl, get a grip. What could it be? I don't know. What could it be? Well, RuPaul comes into the workroom and says that the mini challenge is going to be a spit take, um, a classic comedy gag made famous by Danny Thomas. Um, I feel like we've done this before. Spit take? Yeah. Oh, Roxy Andrews has done it a few times. Oh yeah, that was when they did it on your season. They really make her redo it over and over. She really, really went there. They were trying to get her to crack. Oh, she really, really went there. And mm -hmm. then she did. Yeah. Um, RuPaul says, oh, spit crew. <gasps> Should we send a letter? Fair listeners, I want you to remember where you were on this day. Right now. We did it. We did it. We do. We have become the dog wagging the tail. We are no longer the tail being wagged by the dog. Mm -mm. We are a direct pipeline of uh, writing that goes directly to the show. I'm glad that the writers, or not, not writers, 
No, writers get writer's insurance. I'm, g- I'm glad that the people running the show are listening to our podcast, paying attention to the things that we have to say and that you have to say. We're grateful for this. Spit crew has made it onto Drag Race. And they're wearing... And they're wearing shoes! And they're wearing <laughs> shoes! shoes! <laughs> Just grows those shoes! We did this, honey. We are the pipeline. Give me the pipe, she'll take the lines. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, RuPaul. Thank you for acknowledging us. Thank you for seeing us. <laughs> Thank you for um, entrusting the environment for the next generation. Oh, never mind. Crutch that last one. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You need to point that finger and smell some gasoline on it. Have you ever it. bought gas? Have you ever? How'd you get here? Did you buy gas? Before you point the finger, you need to smell the burger finger. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Girl, I love this spit take because this is something that you know is stupid, dumb, <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Makes the girls look dumb, and it's a chance for RuPaul to insult people to their face while saying, "I'm gonna." funny and then say something what do we got we got nymphia um being scared that they're gonna do the snatch game again they're just making fun of her i thought morphine's was really good they said morphine we got your iq test back you're pregnant (laughs) (laughs) which makes me think that she's so dumb that they only got the the fetus's intelligence results and it finally showed some intelligence so it, it goes so deep it's not only saying you're dumb it's saying you're a whore which i like (laughs) If you're going to be dumb, at least be a whore, too. You dumb fucking slut. Shit. Who was your favorite? Oh, I liked it when Bruno flinched. Oh, my. Uh, my favorite was Sephira Cristal because I feel like the most amount of water came out of yeah. her mouth, of the cup. It was the most sort of... It was like if you're riding that log flume ride at the mm-hmm. amusement park. They and- cut that now. What do you mean? It's not that it's 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 um prince it's gonna be Princess Tiana's adventure. It's not the log flume adventure no more. Oh well good. I know me too. But you still get wet, right? Honey, if you're on the ride with me. Sometimes you get wetter than others, and I would prefer to get really wet. So I would love to get spit on by Safira Cristal in this. Oh, me too. Me too. And untucked later, she um is or she's later telling Plasma, she's like, you know, I'm seeing you going through it. I'm not just concerned about what you present on the runway. I'm concerned about your insides, and I would like Safira to be concerned about my insides too. Oh my God. <laughs> City of Re- brotherly love. Rearranging. Girl. Who won the mini? Your challenge? insides do need rearranging. <laughs> and she can help with that. A little feng shui, feng shui. I mean. <laughs> The winner is Nymphaya, mm-hmm. who wins $2,500 courtesy of Teammate. Oh, what yeah. is Teammate? Teammate is an underwear brand. I oh. forgot something. At the beginning of this episode, they're doing the, another girl goes home, blah, 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 and Plavs is like, it could be anyone next. They are foreshadowing it hard, hard, honey. Prescient words. Why don't we take a break and we'll be right back. I'm going to go smoke. Can the adults please smoke? I'm going to smoke Dijar and black cigarettes. We are back. The queens need to create for the maxi challenge a neo-goth look from scratch. Yeah, and guess what? The stakes are high and the pressure is higher. This is top eight, (laughs) y'all. How are the stakes? High. How is the pressure? High. Higher. Higher. Yeah. Who said that? (laughs) Q. Uh. It's just like the the kind of like, I feel like they could take any season and just say, okay, get the girl saying that line and we'll put it in here again. Every girl is, the stakes are high and the pressure is higher. This is top eight. Well, they do write out, I've heard that they write out, like, the script for the show. And then they sort of find instances where people say these things. Yeah, what they do is every word that you say goes to transcription. And then the editors take the transcribed scripts, literally, and cut and paste and say, this timestamp, these words, boom. This over here, boom. This here. And they make the story and the script on how the editors follow it. And that's yeah. how reality TV is made. It's all in the transcription, kids. So, um, mm, more, oh, 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 hot goth. You know what's you know what's kind of gross after this mini challenge? They said, "Okay, get out of your quick comedy drag real quick, and then line back up 
No time to put a brow on. No time to put a boy look on. Morphine looks like a bald, harassed rat. <laughs> she has nubs. She could nub. She's the nub. Safira queen. pulled that hat real low. Dawn looks like um, a drain clog in Bushwick. What is the point of the nub? Just as a guide point? I mean, don't you know? Shouldn't you just get rid of the eyebrow altogether? I like nub. So I'm a nub girl sometimes. When when the people on set were like, we want a, a real girl look. I was like, oh, I'll be nub. I'm nub. A nub is a nub, nub is, is a nub. nub. But I mean shaving off all but a nub. Like, like why, though? Just N for the smoothness of the inner? I don't see how that's nub of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing going on but the rat. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on but your brow. <laughs> I should just shave it off. It looks cool to you, shave it off. Nubs look kind of like. You could get the Eureka tattoo brow. She has them in like green, pink, blonde. I've seen. Lots of yeah. colors. I want to do a whole look with it. Just That's what I'm going. wearing today. Oh, I love it. Is yeah. that um? Is that in Miss Argentina? Yeah. I love it. It's so it? beautiful. Yeah. Fashion Friday. You know what I was going to say? Refined. Refined? Refined sugar is what I used as powder today. No, I think you need some refinements. <laughs> <laughs> oil refinery? Ooh! Ruse house? <laughs> Crack you, bitch! Okay. <laughs> this maxi Listen. challenge, the girls- Listen, have you ever bought gasoline? Do you eat fucking beef? Because honestly, beef is uh, worse for the environment than fucking gasoline at this point. IJS. I'm just saying. So I BS. Smell the burger finger before you point it at RuPaul. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. Let her frack. Let her frack. <laughs> Let's start frack. Can we frack here? Do we have any natural gas? There's some in the room. <laughs> it's not natural. RuPaul tells the girls frack. Frack. No, sorry. <laughs> RuPaul says, Don't frack. Mother, <laughs> just, just shut it down. Anyway. I've got a riddle for you. So RuPaul's riddled. Riddle me this. She's riddled. Um, she says, e <laughs> I can't see. It's a design challenge, which there seems to be a lot of design challenges this season. Am I wrong in saying that? No, it's what they do when the girls aren't good performers. And they want someone to stay who's not a good performer. Do oh. you know who I'm talking about? What other season was so design Three. heavy? Season three was Raja? Raja, Manila, they were making candy ball dresses in the final mm -hmm. four, remember? Mm -hmm. Final four is usually performance base, not design base. Okay. Unless it's a ball. You had a ball, I think, your final four, right? Uh, yeah, candy. Yeah, because yeah, you had Roxy. You had... Yeah, she was a good designer. Uh... uh right? Y'all were who? Roxy was a good designer. Yeah, but you detox and Jinx are more performance queens than look queens. I'd say. I would say that. Yeah, I would get that face tattooed on my body. Yeah, that is a true statement. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what we do here. <laughs> Truths. <laughs> nothing. No but, frills. Just truth. Nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. Plasma's never heard of goth. She's Listen, in, also, there's a lot of workroom chats this episode because that's, you know, that's what you, all there is is one look on the runway. It's not a ball. Mm -hmm. So you have to fill the episode with something. There's a lot of workroom chats. Admittedly, I watched this episode with a whole bunch of other drag queens. And drag so, so. Um, I probably would have caught more of the episode if I was like watching it and Times Square, like <laughs> on, on <a> Jumbotron. <laughs> I probably would have been able to follow it more. Yeah. I think I saw Manila. I saw Juju. I saw Nick <laughs> Adams. I saw Nick uh, Laughlin. Jan. Jan. Shankman. Shangela. Shangela. Yeah. All the calls. All the dolls, divas, and otherwise. I live. Yes. Okay. Well, this design challenge is... Um, is going to be very good for some of the girls. Some of the girls, you see their faces go. Some of the girls. Some of the girls. Some of the girls are not too pleased about this. Well, because they're like, "Can I f sing a fucking song or lip sync something, please? Like, why do I have to make a fucking dress?" I mean, I get that your outfit is part of being a drag queen, but like, this is not being a successful drag queen is not about making your own clothes. We all know that because the most successful drag queen in the world does not make her own clothes. And she became a success when she stopped making her own clothes, when she stopped wearing <laughs> shoulder pads and jock straps and got a refined look. 
you know what um you know what i keep hearing is that your ears are totally covered you could you can't hear a whole thing talking whole to the episode. barbie ear talking to talking to talking to miss barbie what'd she say you know what i keep hearing what? is what? there it should be a design challenge not a not a construction challenge so they should bring in like a designer uh, or bring in eight designers and you get to get paired up with one. Oh. And you say, this is what I'm thinking. I'd like it to look like this. I want it to be like this. And then your designer helps make the thing for you. I love that idea. But then it's like, oh, my designer didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. And it adds another variable to a controlled situation, which is hard to... Girl, they can make anything. They can shoehorn any story into it. You didn't really conceive anything. You didn't really give your designer a lot to work with. Well, I mean, some of the girls have their own designers. Maya has Safira. Ooh. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Nivia does flit over to um, to Plain Jane's table, and she says, "Oh, sister, look how beautiful." <laughs> and she said, "No, no, 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 banana." Yeah. She started with. Oh. oh! And Play Jade was like, no, 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 no. We're not playing that. Mm. These girls really aren't afraid of really going for it with each other. You know what? It's a good season. Whenever girls did that at my station, I let them have what they needed because A, I didn't need much fabric, and B, I knew that them looking badly wouldn't help me because I already looked great. Thank you. So, like, why didn't you win Miss Congeniality? Thank you. I keep wondering Who won? My, myself. Oh, because Latrice was there. Yeah. And everybody liked her way more than me. But I let everybody borrow stuff. That's nice of you. Yeah. What happened between, oh, the plain Jane and the uh, plasma? She said, no. Plasma. She said, uh, I heard Q. Q was ear hustling. She's like, you know, ear little. Ear hustling. Ear hustling, yeah. That's <laughs> she said. She said, you know, um, Plasma's doing something like you with your ripped shreds. And then she goes over to Plasma and says, um, so what are you doing? Your design changed? L let me see it. And she said, well, can I see yours? She said, no. What, your design changed? Why didn't you consult me about it? Plain Jane is being very territorial about shreds. And she says her look is Chanel, Versace, very bondage dominatrix. It's some ripped ribbons, which aren't even hemmed off, stringy. It did Listen. not give me Lux. It did not give me a million bucks. Who, Plain Jane? Yeah, it did not give me Noir London. Well, I really liked her look, but we'll get into that. It was fine. But I this exchange between them, I mean, it was very, like, tit for tat. Plasma was like, well, are you going to show me your fucking design? Because I haven't even seen your design. I have no idea what you're doing. And strips are uh, just a thing. <laughs> girl, Jane's always been that girl. We know she's that girl. Oh, and what about Dawn and Plasma? What about that exchange? Do you remember that? Dawn was like, so it seems like you're doing what you always do. Don't you think this is the time that you should show them something different? Mm -hmm. And then Jane says something like, Plasma's giving that, us that old lady plasma aesthetic, which we all know to come and hate. She says Actually, that. Actually, she's done pretty well with it. Really? That wrap dress? Well, I see plain Jane getting territorial about it because the last design challenge they had Plasma said, oh, let me get some of this blue. And then they did the same blue. Like some more blue up in that eye. Plain Jane is actually masquerading as worrying about Plasma saying, well, last time, remember what happened? They were like, girl, she did all that and you did that. I don't want that to happen again, sister. It could, you know. Girl, it. Uh, I don't know that Dawn was being malicious. Do you think she was being malicious and getting Plasma to completely pivot her look? I mean, she'll be up in the gym working on that fitness. She blows kisses. I'm her witness. Um, I think that she was just talking to her friend and being I like, just a pussy, rah, rah, mm. riding down mm. the block. Just, just to watch, watch suck all the cocks. So, mm. the, oh, 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 oh. so jinx delicious. <laughs> her face is so mysterious because <laughs> I mean, no one knows. Her first like music video was Jinx Delicious, and she did a parody of that. Oh, wow. That's it's a... probably on YouTube still. It was really good. <laughs> mm. Um, uh, Nymphia but is, Plasma's like, fine, I'm going to get rid of my old lady look. I'm going to do something modern and chic. I'm not going to wear hip pads. I'm wait, give them fashion. I'm going to be a fashion girl. At 31, See? at 3127, Plasma, oh, explain, uh -huh, Plasma is explaining her look to 
Dawn. And she says, oh, I'm going to wear low-cut pants. And Dawn says, oh. And then she says, and then no pad, showing some skin, because I never do that. And then Dawn goes, oh. It's the mo. It's the, the two differences in the O's are very. Uh, oh, Can we hear it? Can it's we watch very it? funny. And then maybe like still the high cut Leo, and then maybe like some really low cut pants. Ooh. I also like never wear no pads, so I could go no pads and like show my skin. Oh, oh. you hate that. You hate. I don't that. love that part, but I like. <laughs> Just, oh. Love that part. Also, someone pointed out who is giving the bootleg haircuts to all the girls <laughs> in their day looks. <laughs> let, let me tell you, a girl told me that they had someone coming to do hair and she fucked everybody up. So whoever did the hair, World of Wonder, don't hire them again. Oh, the Safira and Maya. I don't see anything wrong with helping a girl if you can help them and it's not taking away from your design and you're not worried about it. Like I don't, the girls are like, oh, this shouldn't be allowed. Girls that need help, they should be out of the competition. Shut the fuck up. We worry about yourself. Yeah, it's not your competition. That. There's no rules that you're not allowed to help. Yeah. So what? And and you know what? No one's actually doing the construction on Maya's dress other than Maya. Safira might be telling her what to do and where to cut. And helping. And 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 then saying, Do you want to do that? And then Maya says, Do what? <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part when she's like, Okay, so here, here, here. It's like, Do you want to do that? And she's like, Do what? <laughs> do what diddy diddy dum diddy do the name of the game is getting it done do so what? if you have a sister who is who is good at sewing and ahead uh, in the process get it done get it done and look she, look great and put a bird on it there, or a crystal skull I think there's nothing wrong with uh, getting help because it's the it it, now, that being said, it will piss off the other girls, and you have to let that come into it. And you have to deal with Michelle knowing about it and then going, well, I heard. They told me to say this. I have a gray streak. <laughs> I'm Michelle. At least now they just admit it. Like, at least they, it's not like we before, do. like, so did you make this? It's Now it's like, no, we know because we've seen the camera footage mm -hmm. that you didn't make this, so tell us about that. But Maya did make that. She did. She but, didn't cut well, it out. Well, I know, but like patterning and designing is part of making, I think. Yeah. But I don't have any problem with that. Go off. Just just be pre – and also give credit where credit is due. Would you have had a problem I with think it if she you does. were there? Uh, no, I wouldn't because I would be secure in what I was doing. Me too. And if I needed help on something, I would ask for it and I would probably get it. I think you're going to be at the bottom this week. I would borrow clothes from Detox. Yeah. Well, yeah. Which were some of my clothes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you. We are ready to bring it to the runway. We are poised to bring it to the runway. Uh, uh, they on do the main stage. Mm -hmm. On this main RuPaul stage. RuPaul looks like a fucking statue of herself. I love this. Do you think that she'd be able to date in evil Northeast Texas, though? What? <laughs> what does that mean? Plasma said she couldn't date anybody because she lived in Northeast Texas. And there was nobody gay there. So Plasma. Have you dated Texas? in Northeast Texas? Oh, I've dated. <laughs> I'm currently dating. <laughs> If the ad is still up, she's still looking. Still looking. Uh huh. Yep. I'm at the airport. Still looking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, RuPaul looks wonderful. I also love RuPaul's complete disregard for the theme. She says, "Oh, it's goth night. I'd like to wear a uh, blonde hair and a gold dress. Thank you." Can I also talk about the fact that she wore her fisting glove two weeks in a row on the UK one and then the American one? Honey. And then there was another black glove the week before. Fist it out, bitch. I live. She said, I don't know, just grab bag. Fist it out. See my... what's in the carry-on. Fist it out, my dove. I think she looks beautiful. I think uh, Michelle Visage is also present. Carson Kressley is in blue. Michelle with... Visage looks amazing. And on, on trend with goth, she's very, like, uh, goth uh, adjacent. Yeah, goth mom. 
goth mom. She looks so hot. I love it. I love like all black clothes. Like I just always do. I always love it. Yeah. It's very chic. Streamlined. Yeah. Carson Kressley um, is gay. She's got hearts on, honey. She's got a heart on. And Kaya Gerber is there. Kaya Gerber told me that she's been watching Drag Race since she was 10. She was at the wig premiere in New York at Tribeca. I love that. Yeah, she's a very nice girl. Tried on my shoes. She explained this look as her, her own version her of own drag. drag. And yeah. Untucked, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. She's giving boy drag. Very that's her mom her on the cover of, of... That's her version of drag? Yeah, she's a boy. Very like Katie Lang, Cindy Crawford, cover of Vanity Fair, oh, in a men's okay. suit. Oh, yeah. Boy drag. <laughs> I love that. Boy drag. I, honestly, I do feel in drag when I wear something like that, too. Me, too. Very... That's a monkey suit, honey. <laughs> Category is monkey suit. <laughs> <laughs> Fully. Uh, so this runway is. Also, can we get into RuPaul's lackadaisical best woman win arm? <laughs> this season, it has got. It has. It used to be may the best woman <laughs> win. win. It is now may the best woman. When? <laughs> or best drag queen. When? Ooh, let me get nails. You want to see how well this thumb You want to see me go off? You want to see how well this thumb Oh, girl. Look at how well that thumb fits. Is that Look a? That. That's what for the gold members get to see. Huh? I think that's a toe thumb. <laughs> a th not a thumb <laughs> thumb. That's what this was. <laughs> girl. <laughs> that one right there. So the category is see you next Wednesday. The category is see you next Wednesday. And I actually got this dress and was going to give it away because I was like, I'm not like, it feels like Wednesday Adams goes to sure. school. Very that. I was like, I'm never going to wear this. And then this runway came out and I picked it out of the giveaway pile on my floor because it was going to go give away. And now I'm getting to wear it. And it's right here before you all. Beautiful. Honey, upcycle it, honey. We do. Upcycle fashion. We do. Can you tell me we a little? We do. Can you tell me a little bit about your runway look? What is this emblem right here? This insignia, this necklace. This was a gift uh, from a jewelry designer, and I can't remember their name uh, to give them credit, but please tag yourself. And the rest of it is just model's own. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm goth. I'll look in the, cre the back credits of Marie Claire. 